Hey, what is going on guys? Talk Norris City here, back for another video. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed the last video and this sort of new setup with the lights and the new microphone and stuff. Anyway, today a bit of a debate video um, and a bit of a voting video for you guys. You guys can vote on what I talk about and it'll affect the next video. So it is, who should be the Norwich City captain this weekend against Swansea? Um, I saw this on the EDP earlier and I thought it was a good idea because my captain differed from what they thought. Um, so I thought you might have different opinions than me and what the EDP thought, so who knows? So these are the players that they chucked into consideration. Their winner was Wesley Houlihan, obviously the longest serving Norwich City player by quite some distance now, I think. Um, a legend at Norwich City. He won that, but I don't think he's really got captain material. He's not very vocal on the pitch. Um, I've heard he's a bit of a joker in the changing rooms, but for me, I wouldn't go for Wesley Houlihan. The other choices were Housen. He actually got a lot of votes. Again, don't think Housen's the man. Don't think he's vocal enough. Don't think he's a, he's, a, he's a born leader. Worryingly, I don't think we have that many leaders at the team anymore. Um, you know, I'd say Ruddy was a massive leader a couple of years ago, but he isn't really up to that standard anymore. So I'm starting to look at this team and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, we haven't really got a captain. Um, Russell Martin, yeah, he's a fantastic professional, but when you look at true leaders, I don't think he necessarily is. Um, now, I'm going to talk about some other players before I get to my pick. Malumbu was in the votes. I, I couldn't believe that, considering he's only played one game. Malumbu is out of the question for me. Alex Tete. Now, that's a good shout, because Alex Tete is commanding in the middle, been at the club for a little while, knows all of his teammates really well, uh, plays most games and, and gets a good sort of sight of what's going on on the pitch. So Alex Tete is a great shout. Cameron Jerome, mm, I know Grant Holt was our was our captain, but I'm never a massive fan of, of strikers being captains. Prefer to be him like a, a goalkeeper or defender so they can see the whole pitch for me. Um, John Ruddy was in there and I would have said last year, maybe the year before or Definitely the year before, maybe not last year. John Ruddy's probably the certain vice captain for me. But this season, I, I don't want John Ruddy to even play this game, um, let alone be captain. So John Ruddy's out of, the, out of the question for me. Robbie Brady, interesting. Hasn't been at the club for very long, but undoubtedly been our player of the season this year. Um, could be maybe a captain, but my choice for captain to face Swansea is the bass, the big bass. Sebastian Bassong. Um, I think he's a leader. I think he's funny. I think the players respect him. And I think he's probably be, probably been one of our most consistent players uh, this season. That's not really saying much because there haven't been that many great performances. But I think Bassong's definitely got captain material. Uh, and I really like Sebastian Bassong. So out of the choices that the EDP gave, I'm going to go with Sebastian Bassong. He was third, I think. Houlihan won it. And I think it was Johnny Housen in second. Um, anyway, let me know who you want to see as captain. Obviously, Russell Martin is suspended, hence why I'm doing this. Uh, and whoever wins uh, gets to be the captain in my predicted 11 video, which is going to be up tomorrow, ahead of the Swansea game. Um, so leave your votes in the comment section below, and they will be counted up before I do the predicted 11. Whoever wins will be the captain in that. So thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.